How's it going, everybody? Uh, Matthew back with you again. Sorry it's been so long since the uh, last video. Things have been uh, kind of up and down here. Um, kind of was out of for a while. Got back into it. Uh, we had a lot kind of going on. A lot of things happened since the last show. Um, just a small recap. The air conditioner since the way around the house. Um, so we had to have the, the whole air conditioner uh, heat pump thing replaced. Uh, then they found out all the tubes in the house had the big tubes just lay on the ground. All those were like half full of water. Uh, that was from the air conditioner since it blowed up just filled the tubes full of water so all those had to be replaced. So that was a lot. So all I got done, and then the very night they finished up with that, I went to pick Shannon up from work, come home, and my huge aquarium that everybody has seen multiple times. Uh, we walked through the house, the floor was wet, and uh, I've had it happen before, and when you have something that big, you've been in the hobby that long, you've, you you kind of learn to... Just troubleshoot things. It's usually some of them plugged, some of them backed up. Whatever. I'm talking with my hands. Um, so I started doing the normal things. Um, was, wasn't any of those. Couldn't find out the, the front seal uh, on the bottom, front bottom of the tank had let loose. And so I had close to 50 fish in that tank once we got to start counting them and they were all six seven eight inches long and uh by this time it was six seven o'clock at night and we we called everybody we could to, to find somebody to take some fish and uh there was roughly two thousand dollars worth of fish in that tank and nobody would none of the pet stores would would some of them around here wouldn't even take them the ones that would take them said, well, we're closed in half hour, but we're not going to wait on you. I'm like, I'm just going to give you the fish. You know, I don't want any money for them. I just want them to die. Well, we're not, we're not going to stay up and wait on you. Bring in tomorrow. And uh, so I had no other tank. You know, I didn't, didn't have anything else. So I took them, took them out of there, put them in my sump, which is a 40-gallon sump that was by the tank. Filled out the water and drained the main aquarium, and uh, of course, I, by it being so big and, and me not really being a hobbyist, I was more in the professional line of the aquarium. I didn't have things like air pumps, stuff like that, so I had no way of supplying water or air to the to the sump because the sumps use they create their own oxygen for the whole system and without it running there was no air so we got up the next morning and I had two fish left alive out of the, out of the 50 and um, so I had to get like four people over here and cut the whole system out of the house and got it outside and we went to town and uh, well, I took all the fish we had a little burial put them in a little Top of things, took my buried in the yard, put a little cross. <laughs> it was pretty, it was pretty sad, and uh, but uh, so we went to town, got a, got another little tank, just a small little thirty six inch bow front, uh, just a cute little tank, because the one fish that we had left was a a catfish, which you could throw those in the toilet and they'd live. But it was Shannon's that she'd picked out. It was her special. She named him Wally. And uh, he's a bristlenose. He's an albino bristlenose cat. And when he was probably that long, we paid like 50 bucks for him. And he's like that long now. So uh, we had to end up keeping him. And one of the fish that lived. And he's six inches plus And... 
he can turn around and tank, and that's about it. So we have those in there, and I'm going to start. I'm not going to keep cichlids anymore. I want to go off to something else. But So anyway, so that's what's been going on here between that and um, then when I did have time, I worked back on the Ford. I'm still on that. And uh, I started a, a group page on Facebook. Uh, so everybody was friends with me on Facebook has uh, found that. Sent them all a request for that. It's a closed group. It's a model car on Facebook. So anybody that wants to join that, just send me a request and I'll, I'll accept that. But uh, everybody that's on there has been following along with the, with the Ford build. And of course on Instagram, there's stuff on Instagram for model car art as well. And, uh, but I'll turn around here and show you in a minute where I'm at with that. And I ran out of paint. I uh, got some MC, MCW paint to do it with, and I ran out, so I had to order another bottle. So I'm as far as I can go on the Ford right now, and I just stopped on it right now, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a video and show where I'm at, and then we'll switch over to the Hudson. That, uh, I'm not sure if I showed you I was going to do the Hudson or not, but I'm going to do another Hudson since I already lied out of the bag. And... Um, so I'll show you what I got now, then I'll make another video and, and introduce the next the next build. And uh, we'll start making our progress videos on that and get back to what the way we were doing them since I kind of screwed this one up. So uh, let me get everything switched around here and we'll show what we got going. So just a second here. Okay, so for right now you can see I've got some parts here. These were all the chrome parts for the Ford. Uh, you can see these are a different color. These are uh, Mobius uh, rims. These are out of Hudson. Um, we'll use those on the Ford. And these are tires out of Hudson. We'll use those as well on the Ford. They're nice big white walls. Uh, the ones that came on the Ford were a little bit thinner, but they had a real thin white wall decal went on. Didn't like that. These are painted. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, hubcap, Ford hubcap, put it on the uh, Hudson rim. And this will be painted the color of the Ford, which is um, the uh, coral, sunset coral, whatever, which is just been cleared. It's still got to be uh, buffed and sanded and sanded and buffed, whatever you want. It's just been laying here for a month of Sundays and has had nothing done to it. So that's what that is. Um, of course, we have the, I don't know why, where I was at last time, we have the car. You've all probably seen the, the car. Again, it's so they used to work the chrome, whatever, put on it. Like a little pile of plastic. Basically, this interior is all left to be touched. Um, here's the chassis with the, uh, excuse me, with the motor on it. Uh, again, if you go and check out the other, the other places, you'll see the, the uh, fully detailed motor. I got a little bit of paint right there I got to touch up. I didn't see that until I took pictures of it earlier. Uh, we have our aftermarket shocks uh, on there. And I did uh, do the shocks on the front here. Uh, you can't really see them. On this Revell kit, it just has a, like a post right there. And I didn't like the looks of that, so I had made my own coral spring. Just wrapped some wire around a... Uh, stick and made a spring out of it and put it over that and that made a uh, sorry it's not really in, in zoom here it's uh, I'm on the regular webcam thing not the fancy one but uh, this way I made a spring and put it over that and that gave that some detail so that's where we're at with that. So once we get uh, this all dechromed, I'll be able to get the, I can get the paint 
I'll be able to, until I get the paint, I'll be able to paint these. Uh, call it a car. Get your gas chromes on here. Tires done. Put on this. I'll roll in chassis then. And uh, of course, I'll need the paint for some of the interior work. Uh, the paint's been ordered. I'm just waiting on it to come. So um, that's basically we're around four. So this is just sitting here on the workstation number what we call workstation number one. And uh, <clears throat> so once we get the paint, we'll be back to the Ford. So it's going to stay here and idle for a while. See how much gas it can burn up. We have the um, the floor pan sitting here, which needs another coat. You can see I have some light, light areas where I ran out of paint uh, before I actually got it fully coated. Um, so that's... That's done. Uh, the um, firewall. I think the firewall is okay. I just need to tape off and and do some touch-up detail work on it. Um, but if I recoat the floor panel, I just recoat this again so it matches. And then the radiator, radiator support needs still needs some more. More work done to it. Let's let it zoom in a little better. Uh, it's still pretty light on its on its paint. You still see down. You can see it's light. So I just I just paint right now paint. So that's where we're at, everybody. And uh, so once we get the paint, we'll be back. We'll be back onto this, and uh, someone calls. Call it on this video, and uh, I may go ahead and do an intro video for the other build now, and that way I can get started on it. So let me go ahead and shut it for now, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. So thanks for watching, and bye bye for now.